some of the seeds you can eat while some you cannot also there are some which you should not eat seeds vary in size shape and texture some seeds like flax seeds peanuts and sesame can be eaten raw some seeds like kidney beans bengal gram corn rice and pulses need to be cooked before eating structure of a seed a seed is a part of the plant that can grow into a new plant let us look at the structure of a seed it has an outer covering called the seed coat the seed coat protects the baby plant inside from injury or water loss the baby plant is also called an embryo there are two seed leaves or cotyledon they store food and provide nutrients to the growing embryo some seeds like maize rice wheat have one cotyledon and are called monocotyledonous seeds or monocots seeds of beans peas and grams have two cotyledons and are called dicotyledonous seeds or dicots from seed to plant now let us see how seed grows into a plant the dry seed absorbs water and swells out as the seed swells the seed coat splits and a small white structure comes out this is called the radical the radical grows downwards into the root the seed coat opens completely and the plumule is exposed this grows upwards the water and nutrients for the plant are absorbed by the roots that have grown out of the seed the cotyledons begin to shrink the seed slowly turns into a seedling the cotyledons disappear and the little plant is able to entirely support itself and grow on its own the growth of a seed into a young plant is called germination a seed germinates only when the conditions are favorable it needs the presence of water oxygen warmth and sunlight to germinate seed dispersal dispersal of seeds gives all the seedlings a fair chance to grow the process of scattering of seeds over long distances is known as seed dispersal nature has brought about seed dispersal so that more and more plants can grow over large distances and all living things can get food and other benefits from them we know that plants cannot move from where they are rooted then how do seeds travel over large distances agents of seed dispersal seed get disposed by various agents like wind water animals these are known as agents of dispersal some plants also employ the method of explosion 
of fruits. Wind Seeds dispersed by wind are small and light. Some are hairy, example cotton seeds and dandelion. Seeds of drumstick and madhumalati have thin tapery wings. We often see them floating in the air. Water Plants that grow near or in water bodies disperse their seeds through water. The fruits of lotus and water lily have small hollow spaces that enable them to float on water. Coconuts have a fibrous covering that make it light. The ripe coconuts which fall naturally into water are carried to far off lands. Animals Fleshy and juicy fruits like mango, guava, watermelon and papaya are eaten by man and some other animals. The seeds are thrown away after eating and thus dispersed. Birds eat the fruits of banyan, fig and people trees. They swallow the seeds along with the fruits. These seeds come out with the bird droppings. The fruits of caltrop, shaft flower and mimosa have thorns and spines. The seeds of the tiger claw plant have hooks or burrs. These stick onto the fur or skin of the animals and even on our clothes and hair. Explosion of Fruits Some fruits burst open on ripening and scatter their seeds. Balsam, pea, ladyfinger, geranium, mustard and touch-me-not plants disperse their seeds in this way. Asexual Reproduction in Plants Plants also reproduce asexually, that is, without seeds. This process of growing plants from other parts of the plant, like stem, root, leaves, is called vegetative propagation. It occurs naturally or can be induced by man. Natural Vegetative Propagation In nature, vegetative propagation occurs through stem, leaves and roots. Following are some examples. Stem Rhizome in ginger Runner in strawberry Stolen in jasmine and tuber in potato give rise to new plants. Leaf Base of the leaf of bulbil swells to form a bulb that grows into a new plant. Leaf of bryophyllum grows new shoots from the edge of the leaf. Root In sweet potato, 
the plant arises from the root tuber. Spores Some plants have no flowers and no seeds. They grow from spores. Spores are extremely tiny cells. Ferns, fungi including mushrooms and seaweeds mostly grow in damp, shady places. We can see them lining rocks along river banks and in steamy tropical rainforests.